Hi guys, something a little bit different today, um, still kind of involving in the garden, but I'm going to be showing you that I'm going to be putting up a hammock in the garden, and I don't have any big enough trees in the garden to, in, in the right places anyway to put a, a hammock between, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two posts in, and the hammock's going to go in between the two posts. So I'm going to show you the, the, the tree post that I've got, and, and then I'll show you how I'm going to put them in the ground. So here, you can see these two tree posts. There are two pieces of pine that I got from a local lumber yard. And I stripped the bark off by hand. And so they've been sort of hand planed, so they're kind of rough looking, but I wanted that sort of effect. And what I'm doing uh, at the moment is I'm treating it by adding a, where is it, over here is a, a clear, it's actually a wood varnish gloss which I'm coating over them. Uh, they've had a, two or three coats now, I'll probably give them another couple of coats, uh, which will add as a protection for the wood. And so they're going to be the, the posts that are going to go in the garden here. So we have one here in between the citrus trees and the other one over there next to the orange tree. So the hammock's going to go under here underneath the the peach and the cherry trees i'll show you the hammock came in the post the other day got it from ebay 20 quid uh, so it's a cotton cotton based hammock has the uh the piece of wood on it so that you don't feel like a suffocating sausage when you're laying in it and yeah so i'll, I'll show you how i'm going to dig it in the ground and set these posts up Okay, so we've just dug uh, two holes, and I've already put one post in, um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. That looks like down there. So as you can see, there's the first post in the ground there. Okay, and so this one, I'm going to show you is what I've done, is after I treated them with the, the varnish, uh, I then put bitumen probably around the, the bottom two and a half foot of the pole, the post. Um, and so that's got a covering of bitumen on it up to here, which is up to the just above ground level. And then I've dug these holes about two and a half foot deep, as you can see. And then I use a quick drying, it's called Postcrete, which is a post concrete mix, which you can get from most stores. I think I got this one particularly from being here. Um, this took two bags. To use because they're quite thick posts these um, so this used two bags um, in there and they got it goes off within about five ten minutes um, and goes hard so that's all in there now and so pretty much I will now backfill that hole so that it looks the same as that one and then I shall show you where I'm gonna put the clips to hang the hammock back in a second Okay, so what I've done now is I've put on some clips which have been screwed on into the uh, the posts. So I'll show you those. They literally had a pilot hole drilled um, into the post there. So one that side and one that side. They were, they were what they call swing hooks, which I got from uh, BQ as well. And so what I've done is to the hammock, uh, where the metal clip is, I just literally got a, a quick release um, it's like a mountaineering clip, I can't remember what that's actually called, but a quick release clip which will connect one end of the hammock, like so. So one end goes on like that, and then the other end goes onto this side, like that. So the hammock hangs, oh, I'll put it on twisted. hangs like so it's up that high because it will give as you sit in it um, but that's the the finished the finished look let's test it
Oh. Oh. Yeah, it works. How to put up a hammock, but with no trees. Take care, this is Chris.